Okay, we are live. Hello, everybody. This is Kevin, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Star Ocean The Divine Force with episode 13. Organization 13? No, wrong game. But welcome, everybody. Today, we're finally going to continue the main story. Uh, on Thursday's stream, we did a lot of side quests and watched some optional cutscenes. There were some story scenes at the end, but... 75% of the stream was all um, side quests and stuff like that, so what are you going to do? What's up, Steve? How's it going, man? How's it going, V Scorpio? What's up, Justin? Glad you guys can make it. V Scorpio says, happy Earth Day. Oh, today's Earth Day? I actually, I thought 420 was Earth Day for some reason, but uh, that's another day. <laughs> but yeah, happy Earth Day. And hopefully we have a, a good show tonight. I have some topics to discuss. We got a lot of stuff to accomplish in the game. Like I've been saying, the past few streams now, we're in the later half of the game. Uh, a few more areas to explore, and we should be wrapping it up soon, within the next couple weeks. So that'll be interesting, and then we'll move on to Final Fantasy 1. But for now, where do we have to go? We have to go somewhere. I think we have to go to the... Residential quarters? You have to, we have to sleep and, and rest or some shit. How's it going, Austin? Welcome to the stream, man. Playing some Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Alright, do we go in here? Yeah. So let's rest. Oh my god, look at look at the bright prices for these meals. Holy shit. Now we're gonna go to see about eating. Good night. Good night. All right, we got a, a space battle to, to get to. Best quickly make my way to the bridge. Austin, you're doing Final Fantasy 1? That's exciting to see. Yeah, I'll try to make that one as exciting as I can. But that'll be the next Let's Play. Status report. The Manuk fleet has already suffered heavy losses. They only have three vessels deployed currently, none of which have been able to attack effectively. Can you tell me, Ray, why is this Manuk fleet so inferior? Even up here in space, some folks have the technological leg up on others. Another Scorpion battleship is nearing the Manuk system. ETA uh oh, we're gonna be surrounded by Scorpion battleships! How long until the Aldis arrives? Two hours, eleven minutes. However, we could become embroiled in battle at any time. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, we got this. Captain, update. We will arrive in the Manuk system in six minutes. The Vela Gulf has disabled one of the Scorpion vessels. They are currently in combat with two ships, including the one that arrived shortly before us. Way to go, Captain Curtis. Battleships sure are on a different level, aren't they? Captain, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Putting on screen now. Vela Gulf to Aldis. We only have eight torpedoes left. Hardly enough to take out these last two ships. Alright, we'll, we'll come in and save you, dude. We're going to focus on stalling them. Can you cover us? You can count on it. We'll be pulling into your sector in three minutes. Much appreciated. Vela Gulf out. The two ships engaged with the Vela Gulf are now designated as Scorpion Ship Bravo and Scorpion Ship Charlie. Warp out directly into the orbital path between the Vela Gulf and Scorpion Ship Bravo. Trajectory set. Red alert. Deploy full defensive shields. Set to arm. Oh, he did the point! He did the trademark point! On torpedo launchers. Arm the phase cannons. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Shields at full. Proton torpedoes loaded. Phase cannons initialized. Everyone get to your seats and strap in. It's about to get bumpy. Oh, let's go! Currently maintaining distances of 500,000 kilometers with Bravo and 760,000 with Charlie. Fire three torpedoes at Bravo and immediately reroute to course six zero mark zero. Proton torpedoes away. Impact in eleven minutes. The Vela Gulf has also launched a torpedo at Bravo. Oh shit! What a budget cutscene. Let's shoot the, the battleship and then cut away. Oh, we don't have the budget for that. Sorry, folks. 
Oh, take evasive action! He's just fired four torpedoes at us. Activate auto evasion. Activating auto evasion. Ah, it's shaking! Oh, the controller's shaking. Keep quiet. You might bite your tongue. They gotta get us immersed in the game. Three of the torpedoes will miss, but one cannot be avoided. Brace for impact. <laughs> Duck and cover! Oh, shit! Go! Oh, we got our shields up, at least. Oh! We have been hit. Shields at 76%. Restoring them now. The, the rumbling is like an earthquake. We get any hits in? All three torpedoes failed to connect. How could they miss at that interval? What sort of ship is that? Damn it! Open a channel to the Vela Gulf! Channel, <coughs> open! Captain, follow this. Can you handle this? We'll make it work. Just go! Set phase cannons to fire simultaneously on both Bravo and Charlie. Program salvo bursts to fire automatically in 10 second intervals on these coordinates. Understood. Divert to course 270, mark 180. Match the movements of the Vela Gulf. Roger, Captain. I'll do my best. Oh, let's, let's get him. Come on. He's 100,000 kilometers. Both ships are taking evasive action. Now, hit Bravo with all we've got. Oh, they got a strong shield. It's not doing anything. But seriously, they are cutting corners with these cutscenes. Holy shit. Two torpedoes have hit. Bravo has ceased turning. The Bella Gulf's attacks on Charlie also landed. Bullseye! Bullseye! Bravo and <laughs> are on a collision course. Sweet. Welcome to the stream, McBride Dwayne. How's it going, dude? Scorpium ships Bravo and Charlie have collided. Both battleships appear to have been immobilized. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. Did... Did we win? For now. Don't get out of your seat just yet, though. We don't know what's still out there. Captain, the Bella Gulf is hailing us. Excellent work, Captain Raymond. Thanks, but yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing, but you know what? It worked out in the end. We just came in to steal the show. The real work starts now. What do you intend to do? We're gonna board one of the Scorpion ships with Duma and invest. Hell yeah, let's board the ship. Understood. They may be quiet now, but you're likely to face some strong opposition. Be careful. For sure. And I trust you got our back if anything happens. Can you tell me which ship is the one that came from Aster? Is it Bravo or Charlie? Uh, don't tell me it was the ship that went down before we even got here. It is fortunate we have the data from Lola. Bravo is the one we seek. So we're boarding the Scorpion battleship. Yep, you got it. Let's go! Let's make our way over there now. Transfer chamber. Oh, she knows. <laughs> Leticia knows all the ins and outs of the ship now. Cool. And these? Portable optic detectors. Oh, hello, Elena. You Looking can good. To protect yourself from portable optical weaponry equivalent to a Federation phase gun. Hmm. I see. Wait, pray. What exactly does all Pray to. And I'll read the comments in a second, guys. You know how I how I am with it these cutscenes. Even if you're hit by a glowing gun, like the one Marielle was using, it won't kill you. But that's not a complete guarantee, so don't get too cocky. Note that it also offers defense from physical attacks, such as bullets or knives. Finally, please attach these magnetic soles to your footwear. You can switch them on and off by touching your heels. Indeed, being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. <laughs> oh God, Midas! Not even think <clears throat> of wandering off. All right, are we in control now?
But yeah, that, that those cutscenes, I mean, you can tell where the budget is, where they're having an epic space battle, and oh, we gotta cut away. Oh, get ready for the loading screen. Oh, what's Nina yelling about? Other than the gravity stuff. Everyone, please remain calm. Turn your feet toward that surface there and touch your heels. So this is Oh, just cut to the Scorpion ship. Alright, that's good. Which means we're in the belly of a living creature. It certainly does have that appearance. Rather unnerving. Where could Boldor be on a ship like this? If he's even still Well, alive. he's probably in the deepest part of the ship. Of oh, course. Uh-oh. Is were that guy dead? Ship. We must hurry. If more Scorpium arrive, there's no telling what could happen. Strange. This vessel is... What's up? Ray. I am picking up multiple life signs ahead. Many of the Scorpion do not possess detectable life signs. I suggest exercising caution. Okay, can we get control? Awesome. Let's let's rearrange the party a little bit. But yeah, McBride says, is it 2030 yet? I'm ready to leave this country and permanently move to Japan. Uh, not yet. We still have a couple more years to go, but I don't know, man. People always say that, like, oh, I gotta move to Japan, yeah, let's go. Is it really much better? I mean, you gotta work so many hours and, like, really work yourself to death if you want to live in Japan, because that's how those Asian countries are. Same thing with China, except you don't get paid a wage at all. <laughs> it's like slave labor. But, um, you know, all sorts of work. And for what? I don't know. You're better, you're better off just... Living in an area around here that has low crime, if you know what I mean, and uh, you're good. I want Nina at the bottom. Come on. What the fuck? Because she needs to be in the party for a hero. I'm going to put Mario in the party just because uh, we'll keep Leticia there. That's good. Let me take over. Justin says, are you sure about that, Dwayne? I knew a guy who lived in Japan for a while. He said he had a terrible time there. Yeah, I feel like it's just kind of hyped. Like, oh, yeah, it's moved to Japan. It's based. I disagree. <laughs> Although I've never been there, but I really have no desire to, to go. I, I like living in my backwards town, being a uh, what, what do you, would you call it, a hick or whatever. <laughs> oh shit! What's this thing? It's like a demon. Fused dragon. What does it say? Dragon newt. A fused dragon newt. <laughs> okay, we took a took care of him easily. And Justin says, would have been nice if you had some control during the space battles, even if it was a turret gun, like in that terrible Star Trek movie game. Yeah, it would have been cool just to have some sort of mini game where you control the spaceship, get something new, but what are you going to do? This is the Square Enix budget title, right? Look at these dragon guys. Man. Kill And McBride, my... Only other option is Idaho. I just canceled my trip to Vegas for my birthday in June because I keep seeing reports of murders, a biker gang, homelessness by every apartment I research. Yeah, same thing. I wouldn't want to go to Las Vegas. No, thank you. Even, even like, just go there for fun, go to the casino, resort, gambling. You're not going to make any money. You're going to lose all your money. It's all rigged. No, thanks. I'll stay here and keep playing my video. That's that's good enough for me. How's it going, gaming and stuff? Steve, I often fantasize about leaving my country, but if I did, I'd probably regret it. Yeah. And like, where can you go? That's that's better than you know what you're living in. In, in most cases, it's it's worse, honestly. Whoa, let's glitch out a little. I must say, they all look quite different from each other. The forms of life. Integrated into Scorpion. Now oh, there's more people over here. These are like actual people, too. Isn't that a Federation soldier uniform? Yeah, they're Federation soldiers? Oh, you know. Same old shit, just playing my video games, talk talking to you guys. Same old. 
Oh, Austin, I went to Vegas and saw two homeless people on the streets. <laughs> yeah, they're just there, wandering around. I saw a video on <laughs> on 4chan the other day <laughs> of a, like, a crackhead. I don't know where it was. I'm assuming Las Vegas. But a crackhead walking a stroller that was on fire. And some bystander said to him, you know, you're walking this thing is on fire. And he's like, I need my crack. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh man. We should search the area. Never know what useful stuff we might happen on. I don't know. We gotta search. We need to push something. I remember this. This was kind of a um, confusing area for some. But there's something to push, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's on the other side. I think, anyway. I don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, fuck, we're falling. Austin, despite everything in America, I still like it here. It would not move anywhere else. I agree. For all the problems, <laughs> it could get much worse. And it is much worse. So, I ain't going anywhere. Did we come this far? I'm like lost already in, in the hallway game. Now we gotta go over here, I think. We gotta go over here, or do we? Oh no, there's a new enemy. No, it's the other side. Gaming and stuff. I'm marathoning the disastrous life of Seki K. Hilarious show. I also watched episode 29 of Eden Zero. It was awesome. Yeah, good stuff, man. I'll have my review sometime next week, probably on Tuesday. But you know me, I love Eden Zero, and. That was a great episode. And you guys who just watched the anime and haven't read the manga, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know what's going to happen in the next two episodes. <laughs> Lots of crazy shit. Justin, yeah, we got a lot of homeless people in my town. You get used to it. They ask for money, and that's about it. It sucks, man, because it's like, you know. A lot of ways, you can't afford anything, so I guess naturally there are homeless people. But at the other end of the, the argument, they're doing it to themselves, because sometimes the government gives you free money, and uh, you just sit there and get your crack, right? And it works out. Gaming and stuff, lots of homeless people near us. They're building homeless housing to help with the increasing problems. I do know you love it. I do, too. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I live out in the, the middle of nowhere because I don't I don't know any homeless people. But whatever. I can see the videos on 4chan and chuckle a little. And I say, thank God I don't live in a big city. No thanks. The characters and plot are so well written. Justin, yeah, I'm close to finishing Black Cat. I don't want to spoil my review, but man, early 2000s animation is terrible. Well, some things are good, but it depends on the studio. But yeah. So I got a few things written down here. I <laughs> joked about it a little early on when Digi Scorpio mentioned it was Earth Day. But yeah, I streamed, my last stream was on Thursday. April 20th, and I didn't make any joke about it being 420. Yo, oh, man, 420 just plays it, bro. Oh. So, happy belated 420 to, to all who uh, celebrate. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I knew you could break shit in this area, and sometimes it gives you items. And I'm still playing Trails in the Sky FC, which, what a great game that is. Better try somewhere else. Yo, Jeremy, my homie. <laughs> What's up? Funny you come right when I say it's, it was 420. And I know you're going to have a comment about another uh, influential person who has some affiliation with that date. I just know it. But, uh, we'll let you guys <laughs> in the comments see if you can figure that out. 
because this is a, a PG-13 channel now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Gaming and stuff, my eyes glued to the screen for just about the entire time. McBride, Black Cat was B-tier. Gaming and stuff, almost done with Death Note. Two episodes left. Jeremy, hello. McBride, watch Mushishi. Yeah, Mushishi's great, man. I reviewed that on the channel, like, a year or so ago. I'd recommend it. What hey, the hell now? We might be able to move this junk here with a little oomph. A little oomph. Um, Justin, doing the manga or the anime? I used to read the manga. I think they made most of it up for the anime. Well, yeah, the the anime obviously came after the manga. But yeah, I, I recommend the, the anime. It's like 24 episodes. Travis Willingham voices Ginkgo. I thought it was good. Alright, come on, I know. Yeah, we gotta move on this platform. Gave you some Seki K so far is a 10 out of 10. Well, that's cool. I don't really rate things 10 out of 10 in most cases. That's reserved for very high quality things, but, you know. Alright, where the fuck do we go? Do we hit that? I think we have to hit this, right? No, what the fuck? What the fuck? Where do we go? We have to go to the other side. But how? We hit this again? I think we hit it again. Yeah. <laughs> McBride, I was high as a kite when you did your stream on 420. Maybe that's why, because I was commenting, there, were, there wasn't a lot of people that watched that live. So I was wondering, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe people were getting all fucked up. <laughs> but hey. I'm glad you, I'm glad you had a good time. Right, where's the chest? There's a chest in there. We're gonna get a cutscene once we go through there. So let me read some more of these comments. Jeremy, 420 jokes are tired at this point. They are kind of tired, but I figure, you know, I'll get a few chuckles out of it while I can. Gaming is up. The deadpan humor is side splitting levels of hilarious, and the music is superb. McBride, they had a Mushishi manga? Yeah, the, the manga came first. <laughs> Gave us up, yeah. Justin, yeah, Dwayne. They used to have it at my public library. Jerry, famous person associated with 420, Snoop Dogg. Uh, <laughs> no comment. Alright, let's see. I think we, we meet a new character here. Hey, look. There seems to be some infighting. Uh oh. Ridiculous. Oh, shit! There he is! To deny something occurring in front of us? It doesn't match you. They also have Federation officer uniforms. Hey, look at this guy. They're like half human, half uh, alien. Alright, so we got this badass, where is he? The robot samurai guy? Where is he? We just saw him in the cutscene. I don't know where the hell he is on the battle. Get him. Come on. All right, we beat them all. The Scorpion? Are you with Pangalactic Federation pursuers fighting in this system? And what if we are? We are not your foe. We do not wish to fight either. I beg of you, do with me as you will. But please, save the rest. The rest? Why is he talking to the third? We are not your foe? What the hell is he talking about? Behind it. Oh, there's a bunch of people there. 
from Mother Scorpion? The Centralists must not be allowed to have them. These are refugees of war who have lost their homes. Please, you must help them. And why should we believe you? You mean to say that the Centralist Scorpion do in fact exist? Aha! Duma! This will make things easy. Oh, he knows Duma! <laughs> He's talking to Duma like Morse code! But it would appear we must acknowledge the existence of the Centralist faction. What is the matter? The Scorpion that refer to themselves as Centralists are in rebellion against the existing network. They are attacking those the existing network has deemed suitable and assimilating them by force. This vessel was headed for a Scorpion colony, carrying those people behind me. However, the ones we took aboard on Aster 4 summoned the Centralists and we were dragged into this conflict. You refer to Baldor, Valange, and Gaston. Wait a minute. So those two Veer were Centralists all along? Though Centralists, they are still Scorpion. It is merely a... So there's good Scorpion and bad Scorpion. Kind of like... They Duma. They sought rescue simply because they lacked the means of reaching space. We responded out of a desire to aid our comrades. And because of that, all these people are now embroiled in a war? It's unforgivable. But this one is Scorpion too. And it's assimilating a large number of innocents into its collective. Fate was fair, it seems. It appears you have deemed integration into Scorpion as something malevolent. You are saying it is not? At least in my case, it was a means of survival. I became one with Scorpion by my own choice and that of no one else. There are countless others aside from myself whose lives were saved by integration. Life extension. <laughs> this is like propaganda in here, isn't there? Regardless, this vessel Ask once more that you at least save these people behind me. I am going to put a stop to those who commandeered this ship. They are a danger. All right, well we're going to put a stop to them too. So join the party, why don't you? What do you want to do? Let's help. We're able to reason with him, and he can tell us more about the Scorpion. Right? Please. <sighs> Fine. So be it. You, uh, got a name, bud? Please, call me JJ. Yeah, JJ is kind of a <laughs> stupid JJ. name. Maybe it's an abbreviation for something. But, in exchange, I want you to tell us everything about the Scorpion. Thank you. Whoa, but he's got a badass design. I do like his, I uh, paint strange his people. look. Bowing before you in this body. However, let this be proof that I remain still an individual, though I bear the form you now see. You, have you notice that one of his eyes, he has like a, a mark where he, you know, got cut off or whatever. And it's like, one's brighter than the other. Alright, cool. Justin says a lot of early anime adaptations are mostly filler because they start animating the show while the manga is new and ran out of material, so they make stuff up. Like an example, Full Metal Alchemist, Rurouni Kenshin, and Trigon. Yeah. But it still has the soul that a lot of modern anime lack. Jeremy, I don't do that stuff anymore because I'm on parole. Again? Again, Jeremy? My goodness, man. You gotta get on the straight and narrow, son. Nick Bry, they just found a director for Fast 11. Why? Who's the director for Fast 11? Fast 11. Who the fuck cares? Like, I stopped watching these movies years ago. I think the last one I saw was the, the one with Paul Walker when he died or whatever. Who the hell cares? Um. Hmm. Is it Fast? 
Fast 11 or 10? I don't even fucking know. I think it's Fast X? Fast 10? The Rock's not even in it, you know, because The Rock and Vin Diesel had a feud. Budget of $340 million? Well, Jesus Christ, what are, the, what are they spending their money on there? And John Cena's in it? I, I'm not going to watch. Jason Momoa's in it? Who cares? Justin, I thought 10 was going to be the last one. Yeah, I thought, I thought they were done with that shit. I remember there's one of them. I think it was the first one The Rock was in. The, the chick said something to him like, did you bring the cavalry? And he brings out this giant machine gun. Woman, I am the cavalry. <laughs> and that's a very memorable quote from it. But otherwise, they're just stupid, uh, dumb action fun, I guess. But what are you going to do? And JJ is a weird name for a robot samurai. It is. Any new items here? Apparently there's an item shop aboard. What do you got? Yeah, who cares? McBride Fast 10 comes out May 19th. I saw a report on Twitter they saying that they found a director for the 11th movie. I'm not even going to watch Fast 10. I'm checking out. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not watching any of them. I don't have the time to watch movies. Austin, who was that? Travis Willingham in the samurai armor? No, the voice actor there is Jameson Price. We were, I mentioned Travis Willingham earlier, though, which might got you confused. And he's the voice actor for Ginkgo in the anime series Mushishi. Which I definitely recommend. We've got business to take care of a bit further in. I promise you we'll come back for them. But this has to take priority. We've handled all the enemies in the air. Justin doesn't sound like him. JJ is the secret joke star. Yeah, when they do part 10 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in Space, uh, get ready for JJ Joe Star. <laughs> oh, where's the chest? Yeah, I knew there was a chest back there. Let's go back and get it. Gaming stuff, he looks like a samurai. It's an awesome design. Yeah, I, I like his design. Really cool. All the characters in this game look pretty pretty cool. Let me get this chest. V Scorpio. Uh, I don't know what you mean there. Dude McBride, do you like King Ogres? I have no idea what, what you mean. <laughs> Jeremy, I don't have time to watch movies. Yeah, we know. Why are you making that face? I really don't, dude. I rather I've been playing Trails in the Sky FC, and it's just a much better use of my time than watching whatever shitty movies are out today. So I'm good. So instead of watching a movie, I sit there, and you know I'm kind of busy with doing the YouTube. Like I, I got to make sure I have a video most days during the week. That takes some time. Doing the streams. So no, fuck <laughs> fuck movies. <laughs> Although I did I was thinking about maybe I'll I'll watch the the John Wick movies and review them. But I can wait for the fourth movie to come out on Blu-ray and then I'll do like a review series of that. But yeah, I get more enjoyment these days out of playing video games than uh, than any movies. So No thanks. And I know you're gonna have a comment probably about the brave little toaster or whatever, but you know <laughs> that'll happen eventually, I guess. <laughs> Just be patient. All right, what, what's this? Are we going up here? How do we interact with that? What the fuck? Do I hit it again? Oh, we hit it again. All right, here we go. Justin, the only new movie I want to see is Avatar 2. Jubei Joestar. <laughs> That's a good one. Any treasures in here? Nope. Wait, where'd we go? Over here. Another one. Uh, gaming and stuff, with any luck, I'll be able to get my mom's old phone set up with my True Connect phone service if it works. 
I'll finally have a smartphone again. All I have to do is buy a screen protector. Well, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, we got a boss fight coming up. So let's get ourselves ready. Uh-oh, Baldor's here. And these two assholes. Well, well, Princess Leticia. I did not expect you would dare to follow us all this way. Has he fused yet? Baldor. He has, hasn't he? Integration. Oh no, look at him. My power now exceeds imagining. Absolute power. It is no small wonder. There are so many scorpions. We already beat your ass before. We'll beat you again. But how? I am certain that man was not integrated when he first came aboard. There was still some time until our escort from Central would arrive, so we had him added to the Their escort. Early. From the wedding, what the hell is that? The Emperor was most impressive. His integration went flawlessly. Baldor! What is it you hope to bring about with this power? As an emperor, it is only natural to... He's just an emperor, so he's got to get power no matter what. For my people. Halcyon days lie ahead. For no, the, the Halcyon days. In all of Aster 4, through Scorpium integration. Our planet will be connected. One network, one beating heart. Free of war and suffering. And you would still call them people. Yeah. They're more machine than they are, man. How's that cloak go? What's that even from? Star yes, yeah, from Star Wars, Obi Wan, right? Bulldor. Aster Four. What's up, Komanga? Welcome to the stream, man. Power from the stars. I shall end your ambitions here. Yeah, let's fight. Will we fight all three of them at once. We'll kick their ass. Go. The Fuse Bulldor! McBride says, How about live action Batman Beyond movie? It's been 22 years since the cartoon ended outside the comic books. The franchise hasn't done anything. Well, I have no hopes for a good live action Batman Beyond, so I wouldn't want one if I'm being honest with you. Did, weren't they gonna make Terry McGinnis black anyway? I thought I heard that. That was like a rumor going around. Oh, you know what? Let's, um. Here, let's do Mario's attack. I don't think we've seen it. Where is he? Get him! Nice. Here, we're, we're taking him down, all right. Ah, uh, what the hell is he yelling about? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we're not gonna integrate the scorpion. We're gonna be humans, whether you like it or not. So anyway, I got some other stuff written down here. The other day, I'm not. Have any of you guys ever played the video game Mother 3, uh, which is the Game Boy Advance game released in 2005? It celebrated its, its 17 year anniversary the other day, and has never been localized in the U.S. or North America or whatever. Only in Japan, and that's a great game. I've never played the first Mother, but I did play. Earthbound and never beat it. I couldn't get into Earthbound, but Mother 3, what a fantastic game. Lost on the Game Boy Advance, the only way to play it is on emulator. So, but well, some good stuff. I thought maybe I'll let's play that game at some point, too. Alright, Mario kind of sucks. <laughs> let's try Albert. Come on, Albert! Get the finishing hit! Oh, JJ's helping too. I guess I noticed that. Oh, we beat him. Cool. <laughs> you 
are strong indeed, Scorpion Warrior. This is the second time we beat you, bro. Absurd. How can he be so strong so soon after integration? Winning the fight, losing the cutscene. Yeah, no kidding. He's on a completely different level than other Scorpion. Emergency communication from the Vela Gulf. Ray, the Astoria is approaching Scorpion ship Bravo at high speed. Why is that? The Astoria. Oh shit, that's the, the ship that Mario defected from. Oh fuck, that's the evil Federation guy. Oh, we're screwed. It would seem we are done here. Yes, it would. Our escort from Central has arrived. The Astoria is connected with the Centralists? Would knowing that change anything? This ship will be destroyed, along with your own. Colonel Valange, is this truly what you desire? Lola lives. She awaits your return. There's no going back for me. I am truly sorry, Princess Leticia. I find myself oh, this guy. unable to save you. Voldor! Teleport! Damn it! It's the Astoria. They're changing course. And they've locked onto us. We can't shake them. Oh god, what are we gonna do? Oh no! <laughs> what a shitty cutscene! Let me fire a few blasts and oh! Get to the loading screen! The Vela Gulf! Chloe, transfer all detectable life signs aboard this ship! JJ, grab onto me! Come on, JJ, join the party, bro! Yeah, come on, he's always running away because he's a fucking pussy. We beat him twice now. I'll get to their comments in a second. Let's see what we got here. He's starting at the cutscene. <laughs> Baldor running away. <laughs> the Bella Gulf has engaged the Astoria. Captain Curtis, you saved our bacon. We only escaped thanks to you. <laughs> Don't think you're out of the weeds just yet. The Astoria seems to have it out for you. Oh, let's go to hyperdrive. The Federation should be the ones to atone for all this. Son of a bitch! Get us out of the Manuk system at max warp. All hands, brace for warp speed. Let's go. Wait, we must help them. There's nothing we can do if we stay. The captain's efforts will be in vain. Entering emergency. Oh, so the captain's gonna sacrifice himself now? Mark 180. Engines at maximum. Whoa, shit! <laughs> that was like a suicide attack. A kamikaze attack. No signs of pursuit. We have successfully escaped the Manuk system. Captain Curtis. Oh. What do we do now, Ray? JJ. I heard you say that Scorpion ship was an evacuation vessel. Can we have civil discussions with other non-centralist Scorpion like you? There are no hostile Scorpion among those who saved I and my comrades. What the hell are you talking about? That ship attacked the Akizuki! Only because your own vessel acted in a way that the Scorpion network deemed hostile. You were hiding and waiting for your chance to strike. That was a mistake in Scorpion's judgment! <laughs> hey. You know the coordinates of your destination? Don't tell me you're thinking of going straight to their base. We've lost both. Yeah, we got us. We don't know whether the Vela Gulf survived. Oh, we saw the, the ship explode. He didn't survive. Police, or did he? Days at most. Do we really have any other options? If you will give us passage to the colony, we of the Scorpion can promise to welcome the Aldus with open arms and with peace. JJ is not lying. I recommend cooperating with them in our investigation of these centralists. Is your colony a Scorpium too? And where the hell is it? It is a Scorpium construct in the form of a colony. You will find it 700 light years from here. There's no way we can travel that far. 
We can arrive swiftly if we pass through the wormhole 6.2 light years from here. <laughs> What's all this space jargon? Yes, a wormhole does indeed exist at this point. If we travel through it, we will reach the colony within 24 hours. Well, we we'll take JJ's advice, I guess. The Aldis is now en route to the Scorpium colony. We're bringing the refugees home. I guess all those people on the Scorpium ship miraculously made their way onto this ship as well. This is what Raymond's find. insinuating. Alright, so we can move around. Let's get caught up on some of these comments. Where do we leave off? Um, gaming yourself, I'm laughing my ass off right now. Aseki K. Justin Lorez Wonderbread did a video on a cancelled Batman Beyond movie. The concept art looks cool, but then again, they always do. Yeah, man, I have no hope that DC or Warner Brothers is going to do a good live-action adaptation of Batman Beyond. No hope. V Scorpio, do you like the Gamera trilogy? I seen like the old, old Gamera movies. <laughs> AVGN for one of his Monster Man just reviewed them all. Justin reviewed a few Gamera movies too with Tokusatsu Thursdays, I think. Jeremy, still waiting for my. Shark Geisha live action biopic. Oh, are they doing that one? <laughs> what about the Cleopatra one? We was kegs! We was a Cleopatra in Egypt and shit. We built the pyramids, man. Just in the 90s one. I've only seen the 90s Gamma movies. The Scorpio, the Heisai one. Justin, they were cool. They had some brutal kaiju fights. Gaming and stuff. Mwahaha! Komanga. You're so strong, it made him laugh. <laughs> that guy's always running away. I know, dude. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> v Scorpio Gamera is coming back. Justin, there's a lot of Gamera movies on Tubi. V Scorpio, too bad. The first series of Gamera are not as good from what I heard. Game me stuff. I'm convinced to get this game now. Definitely, this is a good one. It's been on sale a couple of times. You can probably find it between $20 and $40. It's a good game. So much, I'm playing it a second time on stream. Komanga, oh shit, indeed. I love Kevin's reactions. Well, thanks, dude. And, and gave yourself says me too. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. Now, where the fuck are we going? We gotta go to the common area, maybe? McBride, my favorite Godzilla movie is Godzilla vs. Destroyer. All right, residential quarters, maybe? We probably have to rest some more. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about our friend Razor Fist, too. Because if you didn't know... Well, we might get another cutscene, so maybe I'll talk about that later. Yeah. We're going to talk about our boy Razor Fist and his, uh, his crowd fund. His well, grift fund. Like everyone had the same idea. Yes. I'd like to learn as much from JJ as I can. But... I'm not quite sure how exactly to ask. If there is something you need, then please enter. There you go. Alright, let's get the scoop from JJ. Captain Raymond, thank you once again for offering us your protection. I am He's very honorable with his bowing and, and uh, his gestures. Actually, I came hoping you might tell us more about the Scorpio. As Duma told you nothing. Mainly general information. Yeah, Duma doesn't say anything. However, we have never had the chance to speak with someone who became a part of the Scorpium directly. Do you wish to know if Scorpion is your enemy? Well, it's kind of a loaded question because JJ's a good guy, Duma's a good guy. A great many of but the other Scorpion are bad guys. Integrated beyond the point of recognition. On the ship where we met you. Oh yeah, and those other they Federation guys were Scorpion, were weren't they? Not only towards me, but towards Raymond and Leticia as well. But then, we found you fighting to protect all those refugees. Is that not normal? Normal? 
they had their objectives and acted to remove any irregularities in its completion, which in this case would be all of you. I, too, had my own objective and sought your help to achieve it. Um, well, yes, that is all true, I suppose. But is Scorpion... A monstrous invader? that transforms people into something they are not. Took the words out of my mouth. How it seems to me. The same mistaken belief prevailed on my home planet as well. The belief that those who merged with Scorpion became creatures so utterly alien that they were incapable of conscious thought. But this is not the case. Am I, myself, not proof of this as I stand before you? So you, uh, Scorpium, are basically just robots or androids? Maybe cyborgs? <laughs> All the above! Contend that none of those terms... None of them?! <laughs> what the fuck is he, man? I am a humanoid that has almost fully physically integrated with Scorpion. So he's human underneath the shell? But why would you do that? To evolve. Into a greater life form. True, but is it evolution to turn your body all mechanical? Evolution is a mystery. It is the process, not the means. Do you guys remember evolution from uh, WWE? With Scorpion is connection with the Scorpion network that spans this vast galaxy. So you plug humans into this network. The Duma that came to my world also phrased many things in a way that invited misunderstanding. It is a concept that is easily grasped after integration, but difficult to comprehend prior to that. I believe that the evolution I gained through integration with Scorpion can be found here, and also here. Alright, so his heart and his brain? Life forms join with Scorpion. But at least for we humanoids, history has proven that evolution of the mind and heart is possible. <laughs> What's Leticia looking at? <laughs> She's like, the are up into space. I know these ideas are not easy to comprehend. I alone am not capable of conveying them properly. And I also understand the feelings of those who find Scorpion difficult to accept. However... Whoa, what's with his back? I would have lived a full life had I not gained this body. Thus, I have not even one iota of regret. All I ask is that you at least understand this. Very well. I don't get it, though. What about those Federation officers? <sighs> There's got to be something we're missing. Yeah, cause they turned we're evil. Gonna have to open our Unless they're evil to begin with. Heads around any of this. You mean to say that what we know is limited by what we have seen, and we are yet to understand the full extent of what has happened? Yeah, exactly. You're getting all of this pretty quick, Leticia. Well, you have proven to be quite the teacher. All of this has given me a headache. I'm going to go get some rest. All, All right. This talk of the incomprehensible has it's incomprehensible! Perhaps I ought to take a moment to rest. All right, so yeah, we were talking about Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Destroyer! Justin, yeah, that was a good one. Gaming and stuff, the Korean barbecue place was great. Oh yeah, you said you were going there the other day. Justin, mine might be Final Wars. V Scorpio, same here. It's a good way to end that era of Godzilla. Gaming and stuff, I had spicy pork belly, garlic, beef, boogalo. Is boogalo? <laughs> Bugle. I don't know what the fuck that says. Shrimp, steamed egg, fried rice, coconut yogurt. Oh, you had a, a full helping. Good for you. McBride, anybody else watch Mashal Episode 3? It's a good series. I never heard of it. But I don't really watch a lot of modern stuff, so... I don't know, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
gaming and stuff. Jameson Price does great voice acting work. Oh yeah. What else was he in? He was a um, Sojuro in Persona 5. Yeah, he was good there. Jeremy, um, actually, a cyborg is a human with a cybernetic part integrated into the body, so he is a cyborg. Actually. Justin, I haven't heard of that series. Is that an anime? Oh, fuck. Did you hear that? It's thunder out there. <laughs> fuck. I hope we don't have a power outage. McBride, speaking of Triple H, I remember when him and CM Punk were in the middle of the ring and Hunter went on as if you're not being hated, you're doing something wrong speech. Justin, that arm thing on his back is where he keeps his sword. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, gaming stuff, I believe, is a samurai thing. Justin, BRB. McBride, Mashal, Magic and Mushroom. <laughs> magic and Mushrooms? <laughs> magic and Muscles is a manga series currently at volume 12. Basically, Asta from Black Clover with the R from One Punch Man. Oh, cool. Gaming stuff, yeah, I was full until the next morning. Well, good for you. All right, so where are we going? We gotta rest. Get in there. Best not turn down a chance for rest. Oh, best not. So let's uh, let's sleep. Sleep it off. Good night. Good night. We have arrived at the wormhole. Everyone is to report to the bridge immediately. Let's go, go, go. I must say, I find myself unable to picture what sorts of worms might dig holes through the sky. <laughs> What? The worms digging holes through the sky? Holy shit. Austin's Space Godzilla is one of my favorites because it also was my first Godzilla movie. How does cool. one use a wormhole? It's not the same as warp, right? There should be a Scorpium space-time stabilizer affixed to the edge. You can go in the wormhole. Figure out what happens next. Affix something to a wormhole. Ah, that thing. There it is. We need you to access it and send the code in the specified format. I should do it? Can you do it, Elena? I will try. Displaying coordinates to screen. Acquiring destination. Sending. Preparations are complete. You may now enter the wormhole in conventional space. All right. Keep the thrusters at half power as we head in. Entering the wormhole at half thrust. <sighs> well, that sent a chill down my spine. Man, <laughs> I guess there've never been in many wormholes. Jumping through space like this, we wouldn't even need warp drives anymore. There are only five stable wormholes within the entirety of Scorpion's range in this galactic system. They do not allow for travel to unexplored space. The warp drive is a necessary technology for the evolution of life and humanoid races. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? Hmm. The end of the wormhole is coming up ahead. What the? We're at the end? Oh! Now exiting the wormhole. Space time readings are showing major discrepancies. Recalibrating sensors now. Did uh, we get through without a hitch? I guess we did, but where's the planet? Our current position is Sector Beta. 713 light years from our position That's beta. prior to entering the wormhole. <laughs> Seriously. Long range sensors detect an object equivalent to a space colony 2.1 light years from here. This is one of the colony forms, Scorpio. What the hell are you typing there, Jeremy? How do you know that that means? It is named Parapium. You may proceed forward. The colony has a suitable space dock for entry. So based on what you've said, that dock. And this whole colony is all part of Scorpion. Correct. Doom is like spazzing out over there. You see that little dance? A funky dance. Ariel, can you go wind up JJ and uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if he was here as we go in. 
<laughs> wind him up? What the hell? We already established he's a human in there. Uh oh, are those more Scorpium ships? If that's the case, we're really screwed. Oh, he's talking to him. Hello. <laughs> Anyone in there? You may use the dock or transfer if that is to your preference. A port has been opened specifically for the Aldus. So no danger, right? There is no Scorpium here who view the Aldus as an enemy. The Aldus is welcomed. There is nothing to fear. Gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty lame to turn around and chicken out at this point. Let's go, everyone. Indeed. I dare say we will be fine. Yeah. I dare yeah. say. That reminds me of Ignis from Final Fantasy XV. I dare say I can make this a camp. I've come up with a new recipe. Alright, what else we got here? The Scorpio. Top Space Godzilla is just Super Godzilla with some gems. Gaming and stuff. Yeah, he's up there with others like Bryce Paperbrook, Cassandra Lee Morris, Todd Habercorn, and Colleen Cl Clinkenbeard. Oh yeah, all good voice actors there. McBride Godzilla Jr. should have been like Charmeleon, not Charmander. Too much cute, not enough anger. <laughs> v Scorpio, too bad. Oh, is that what you meant? Too bad? Oh, too bad Godzilla. Yeah, okay. Uh, gaming and stuff, entering the wormhole at half thrust. Why does that sound so dirty? I don't know. You made it sound dirty. <laughs> That's what she said, right? Jeremy BB... I, see, I don't know what the fuck this even means, but I'll read it anyway. BBB, my BFF, because IDK, what's coming up next, and I'll be LMAO with the rest, so TTYL XOX. Okay. <laughs> yeah, McBride, because you've been on the hub too much. And I don't know, dude, gave me some, maybe keep some of this stuff to yourself, but I posted some sexy pictures of Vanessa from Genshin Impact on my Twitter account. You know, there's a famous meme. I might have it, like, saved with an actual title, but otherwise I usually just have numbers because I get them all from 4chan. But there's Genshin Impact, the guy who plays Genshin Impact, and he's all depressed. No, I don't have it. Uh, the guy who plays Genshin Impact is all depressed, and then the guy who looks happy, who looks at the Genshin Impact porn. <laughs> and, uh, it's the tale of two Genshin Impact enjoyers. Alright, we can go, right? Where do we go? Oh, we go right here. And I have no interest in playing Genshin Impact because it's open world gotcha. But I will admire the images from time to time if I do see it. <laughs> What, what are we talking about now? And now we're bringing up the porn stars again? I swear to God, like, every other week we, we talk about famous porn stars. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, I know who they are. And you know who they are. <laughs> but it's like... <laughs> we're going to horny jail. How beautiful. Oh, we made it to Parapium. So this is another world. No, another planet. Another world! Chrono Cross intensifies. Chrono motherfucking cross. This colony is shaped as a colossal ring. The ring. The ring. But why? One ring to rule them all. One ring to guide them. Artificial gravity. The fact that like speaking of which, look at Malkia's ass right there. Holy shit! <laughs> Indeed, a gravity generator like those found on spaceships would be most inefficient to maintain gravity in a structure as massive as this. What is this gravity you speak of? Do we really have to start from all the way there? <sighs> How can I put no, this? Now, this simpleton doesn't even know what gravity is. Let's talk about this later. Oh, yeah, these these simpletons. Whoa. So we're in a new area. You will oh, they're from the Genshin Impact manga gaming and stuff? I didn't know they had one. I heard they're going to do a Genshin Impact anime one of these days. And I guess all the voice actors from the game will, will reprise their roles, so that's cool. Is this in any way connected to integration? I can assure you, it is not. The choice to integrate always right, shut the fuck lies up, with the organic dude. We gotta 
carry on. Look at these outfits these guys got on. What the fuck? Look at he's got the zoomer hairdo. Look at this dude. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like Vash from uh, Trigun. Okay. So anyway. McBride was saying, what grinds my gears, giggity, is the fact that Lisa Ann hates being told by fans that she was their favorite actress and she gets upset. Not that I would know or anything. Well, I mean, Lisa Ann, how many years did she do that shit for? What does she do now? She thinks that, you know, she's famous for anything else? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'll never forget Lisa Ann did the, the, the parody of Sarah Palin. <laughs> the Sarah Palin. The Sarah Palin parody. Holy shit. Jeremy, oh, it's getting wet over here from the rain. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, was there a chest? Did I miss something? How do we get that chest? Right there. Oh, I know how to get it. You get it from the outside, you gotta fly up. I remember. I remember. I think. Or maybe from the other side? Let's, let's try it. What the fuck? How do we get that chest? There's gotta be some wet. Some way to get it. No. I don't know. You see it on the mini-map, though, don't you? Right there. Oh, well, maybe from the other side. Gaming stuff, Genshin Impact is great. Aphrodisiac. Komanga, a whole new world! I, well, they said another world. That's, uh, that's Chrono Motherfucking Cross. Not Aladdin. And I see we currently have 10 viewers and only 4 likes. Can we please kindly smash the like button? That will be greatly appreciated. Are you here to integrate? Uh, no. We, uh... Oh no. We're humans, thank you. You know, how would that work with Elena? Because she is an android. However, as reported earlier, some of the evacuees I have brought do seek to integrate. Yes, sir. Their requests have been confirmed. However... Something wrong. The integration plant is operating at reduced efficiency, so there will be delays. In the meantime, any guest requiring immediate... You know, these guys are kind of freaky with their integration. Why is the plant operating at reduced efficiency? The plant's administrative network is currently under attack by a faction of Scorpium calling themselves Centralists. Until we can fully eradicate their presence. It is possible they may interfere with results. Hence, the facility's limited output. Centralists? Under attack? Are we in danger? Come on, Jeremy. No, At least no. don't like it then. Just leave it alone. Don't dislike it. Because that hurts the, the algorithm and the videos. I already have enough hate to watchers. All of Parapium is fortified against attacks. Uh, so what you're saying is that no one will be hurt? Absolutely. I see you did dislike it too, you, you asshole. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Well, then that's fine, I guess. If a Scorpium network is attacking another Scorpium network, the schism truly exists. In any case, please be at ease and enjoy your stay in Parapium. The Scorpium network welcomes you all favorably. That was Johnny Young Bosch, wasn't it? Uh, Lisa Ann's in a Hulk movie now? <laughs> what the hell are you guys talking about? V Scorpio, Lisa Ann was in a Hulk movie. A Hulk parody? <laughs> yeah, while you're gone, Justin, as usual, the, the conversation shifted to porn stars, and we're talking about Lisa Ann again. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Gave me stuff. Cue the Aladdin song. The manga is cool. McBride, I've seen just about every parody movie there was. China was the She-Hulk. <laughs> gross. That's fucking gross. <laughs> v Scorpio, she was in Planet Hulk. McBride, she has a YouTube channel now exploring other countries. Jeremy dislike. I do have a hate watcher too, Jeremy. My last few videos, I've gotten a dislike in, in the last few of them. And it's like, what the fuck, man? Why? I don't understand. It's just so annoying. <laughs> Justin back. Sorry, my dog wanted to go outside. 
and Hey Johnny Young Bosch. McBride horror parodies are some of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. <laughs> Jeremy, okay, I redacted my dislike. <laughs> Gave you stuff, I thought he was just joking. No, he did. Justin, yeah, like that guy who made fun of us being Shonen fans. LOL. I know, dude. It's like, I, I swear to God, I, I do have at least two people who are subscribed to my channel who pop up every now and then and are just like, just shit on me. And it's like, fuck you. Like, you, you got nothing better to do than to hate watch somebody. Like, go hate watch somebody else. And I just ignore them. At first, I'll, I'll, I'll engage and be like, okay, you sure about that? But then at a certain point, it's, you know, fuck off. <laughs> Just uh, do we have more cutscenes or no? Normal, boring city. It is. Oh, so we get the chest this way. I figured it out now. Is it normal though? But yeah, to, to expand upon that, so I, I did my video about uh, <laughs> our boy Jack from Stranger of Paradise. I've done a few of those videos, by the way. Some of my most popular videos on the channel. The one has over 30,000 views, believe it or not. But I did the one where, where he's talking to the Emperor from Final Fantasy 2. And he says, I knew you'd start spouting bullshit the moment I saw your face. You had the look. And uh, I think it was Ryan, the YouTuber who subscribed to me, Ryan Ginyu, who commented that he, he gave up on the game or something. And then Justin commented to him saying, yeah, you know, it was Neo. And I, I stopped playing the game too. And then, and these comments are from like months ago, mind you. Sorry. And then all of a sudden, the other day, we get a comment from some no name who doesn't have a profile picture. What's that? Right away, to me, if you don't have a po profile picture, you're like a bot account, or you know, I, I can't really take you too seriously. And, and it says something. Oh, you know, of course, the shonen shitters were filter because you think they would ever give up because of the. Bullshit they watch about never giving up and they gave up on Jack's game. It's like fuck you, <laughs> you know <laughs> Not everyone likes the game. I mean, I like the game But it's not for everybody I'm talking over this cutscene. I don't care and experience our accumulated insight across the vast expanses of space How interesting can you escort us there? Of course I want to read these other comments, but, but this is also I got sidetracked now. This guy's blabbing on. I don't even know what he's talking about. We got to go to the integration facility. Um, wouldn't you already be familiar with this place thanks to the network? Even after joining with Scorpion, much of this universe remains a mystery to me. Though connected to the network, there are many things I cannot learn without going through the proper effort. Yes, I suppose that's true. All right, we're good. Okay, so... <laughs> Kovaga says, we love Jeremy. I know, I love you too, Jeremy. And he, Jeremy says, when hoes can't handle criticism. I can handle criticism just fine, but it's like, you know, there's no reason to right now. <laughs> Justin, oh my god. <laughs> v Scorpio, what's your favorite parody MC? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Gave you some, is Lisa and a Playboy bunny? No, she's... <laughs> She's she's far worse than that. Oh, thanks, gave me a stuff. I just liked it. Shonen is awesome. Screw them. Justin, yeah, earlier today I watched a review for that Winnie the Pooh horror movie. It sounded like a shameless cash grab. Oh, speaking of other movies, The Evil Dead Rises. Apparently there's a sequel to the Evil Dead movie from a few years ago. And it got good reviews and the trailer looks pretty good. At present, we are commencing our research on life forms found Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a sample of a plant. Do I have it? No, we don't have it. Alright, we'll get it for you one day, bro. But yeah, and, and look at the trailer. It it looks fucked up. Like, like the one chick who's the mother, I guess, who gets uh, infected with the evil dead, vi uh, not virus, but zombie. And, um... She's like, I, I love my kids so much, I'll kill them. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. <laughs> so, that looks promising. I like the evil dead movies. I never watched Ash vs. the Evil Dead, though. Which is kind of a shame, I guess. Maybe one of, maybe one of these days. Alright, we got something, I think, for Mario. Oh, she doesn't have any armor? What the hell does she not have any armor equipped for? 
We gotta change that right away. There you go. And did I buy something from her? No, I think I got something from Midas. No, that's Theo. There you go. Numbers go up! <laughs> Come on, yeah, she's an adult. How do you not know who Lisa Ann is? <laughs> uh, v Scorpio says Disney lost. The rights to Winnie the Pooh gave me itself 30,000 views. Wow. Yeah, I posted it literally minutes after the trailer from whenever that game's trailer came out a year or two ago. And it just got, uh, went viral. So, good for that. Neo looks really cool. Got out of a profile picture. Justin, that, that was kind of a funny comment. It was so funny. Like... Definitely came from the depths of V <laughs> and uh, and said that because every day still there's always threads about Stranger of Paradise because the DLC and now it's on Steam so the Channers are are going to town with uh, with their boy Jack who's become like a folk hero and same thing with Nomura and there's been a lot of threads on there about Final Fantasy versus 13 which come on can we get fucking Nomura to let his dream come true can we get can we get fucking Stella. And the real Noctis from Versus 13. Like, come on. So been waiting years I now, but that'll never happen. Gaming stuff, I thought the Stranger Paradise gameplay was boring. The cutscenes were hilarious, but the gameplay wore my socks off. I did the demo, FYI. Yeah, definitely a uh, game takes getting used to. It's a, a Souls-like game, which I hate Souls-like games. But I had fun. I played it for the goofy story and for Jack to fist bump people and uh, to say, I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> and there's one for the DLC. There's a quote from the DLC where he goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just so badass. I love it, man. All right. Uh, V Scorpio, not you. I meant McBride. Gave me this stuff. Playboy bunnies are smoking. <laughs> well, naturally. Did you see the pics I tagged you in on Twitter, Kevin? <laughs> yes, I saw them. <laughs> McBride, anything with Asa Akira in it is my favorite. God damn, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> Justin, Ash vs. the Evil Dead dropped off after the first episode. Really? The first episode's good, and then it just it turns into something that's mid? Komaga, be careful. Some of those women are trans. Maybe now they are, but back in the day, I I, I don't think so. <laughs> McBride, I'm now thinking of the Clark's movie where Dante says my girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. <laughs> Gaming stuff. I think my video feed is behind, despite showing it as the moment. What parody? Are we really gonna talk about porn parodies? Like my God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Gaming stuff. Kingdom Hearts 4 is versus 13 come to life. I hope. McBride, look up the actress Christine Nagayan from 2006 to 13. Her movies are my favorites. Jeremy, what's that bunny thing? It's just one of these creatures from Star Ocean. Where was it? It ran away. I just saw it on the stream before too. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. It's right here. I don't know, it's just a Star Ocean monster. It's like it's like Choo Choo from Xenogears. That's kind of what it looks like, actually. Fucking Choo Choo. Do any of you guys remember the crucifixion of, of Choo Choo? Or you haven't played Xenogears? What a game. Evangelion in video game form. You have my word. Let us try it. There is still far too much we do not know about Scorpium. That is true. And it'll get us further than asking Duma questions and getting the cold shoulder anyway. The use of the learning facility requires an introduction by an integrated guide. So I... Oh, Christ, we're at the part of the game now where it's just like, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Right, here we go. 
Is there more to explore though? Yeah, I should probably explore because there's probably chests and shit. Uh, gave me stuff. I liked Code Vein's gameplay and Bloodborne's gameplay, but Stranger of Paradise had gameplay that was, in my opinion, dreadfully dull. Glad you like the picks. Star Ocean's version of the Chocobo. Justin, I've only played the first two discs of Xenogears. Is it three or four discs? I think it's only three discs. But Xenogears, what a classic. What a classic. I wonder if it'll ever be like re-released or remade or anything. Probably doubtful because Xenogears was supposed to be the a six-part epic, but and it was originally going to be Final Fantasy VII, believe it or not, but it was too dark and edgy <laughs> for Square's taste at the time, anyway. And uh, they decided screw it. And then I think Xeno Saga was supposed to be six games, but it ended up only being three. And now Xenoblade Chronicles, which I guess kind of spoilers for Xenoblade Chronicles, but I saw the trailer and you guys might have saw it too. So, uh, they're doing DLC called Futures Redeemed. And they have characters from Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 appearing in 3, including older versions of Shulk and Rex. Yeah, they look pretty badass. So, I don't know. I gotta play the Xeno games at some point. Well, the Xenoblade Chronicles, Xeno Saga, all that shit. I played Xeno Gears. Which I've thought about let's play that one too, but that one's just, my god. <laughs> There's too much going on, and. <laughs> the. The uh, dungeons, uh, especially toward the end, are a pain in the ass. And then the, the second. Well, no, Xeno saw. I think Xeno Gear is only two discs because that's the, that was the meme. Um, the second discs is all Faye sitting in the chair and recounting the story because they ran out of time. They ran out of time and money, and so, like in the second disc, Faye will just be sitting in the chair, and I'll talk about the story, and then I'll oh, do the dungeon, fight the boss. But so many great characters in that game, like Saiten. Oh my god. Epic. He knows. <laughs> Gaming and stuff, I love the sci-fi aesthetic. Jeremy, if I'm IHOP, you Waffle House? Don't do that shit again. <laughs> you weirdo. Oh, I, I got an update, Jeremy, for our boy Adam, because I, I was talking to him. He got a strut, and he's been taking a hiatus from YouTube for some time, because uh, he can't do anything, especially him. Oh, there's a bunny there. I knew there was. But he got a strike from a video that he did in October. The other day, he got a strike on a video from October. But he, he's definitely more edgy on his videos than I am, so. Oh, poor Adam. Gaming stuff? Ah, yes, like the last few hours of Tales of Arise. Too much jibber-jabber. I'm considering skipping most of it. Yeah, that's how a lot of these games are, though. They just go on and on. Like, like it, if you guys saw my friend Justin's review of Trails to Azure, he was talking about the ending there, the last chapter I went on and on, all these different dungeons and bosses, and it never ends. Which, yeah, ch check, it, check that out. I did a community page post of that earlier today, and it got a couple of likes. It got, like, five or six likes. Which, I don't know. Like, why would you like that and not go over and watch the video? It's like sometimes when I promote my streams, I'll, I'll do a community post and put a picture of, you know, Elena or Malkia. And I'll get 10, 15 likes. And then we definitely won't get 10 or 15 viewers. It's like, fuck. You just like it because there's a hot chick there. You're not going to watch the stream. Fuck that. <clears throat> All right. Oh, let's see. Uh, Justin, the mecha designs for Xeno Gears. Wait, what about Xeno Saga? Oh, I was kind of rambling about the Xeno games, wasn't I? Well, Xeno Gears, from what I understand, was initially going to be a six-game series, and then it obviously didn't do too well, so they redid it as Xeno Saga, and Xeno Saga was supposed to be six games as well, but it was only three games. And I guess now they settled for the Xenoblade Chronicles games, which are all different stories, but in a way connected, I suppose. The 
Shepard's learning facility conjured images akin to a library in my head. But this is... I will admit that reading texts remains an effective method of learning. But this facility is slightly different. Let's see, I'm behind a little here. Let me get caught up before we continue. Gaming stuff, Final Fantasy X was actually originally going to be a spin-off game before being reworked to an FF game. McBride, I like dark and edgy movies. We need to dis depussify our entertainment once and for all. You said it. <laughs> Gaming stuff, I like dark and edgy aesthetics like the Resident Evil games. Jeremy, if I'm up, you're down. If I'm open, you're closed. He made it. Oh, Adam made a community post. Oh yeah, he made one about the Wisconsin um, Supreme Court stuff. Did he make another one? Let me see. You, you can't talk anything political on YouTube anymore. It's not allowed. Tim Pool, Matt Walsh, a few others have been hassled recently. And if if Beanie Boy Pool is getting hassled, which you know. He's allowed to say everything. Oh yeah, Adam's last video was eight months ago. <laughs> he deleted everything. Yeah. <laughs> Gave me stuff better than Denny's, Jeremy. Komanga, yeah, I was wondering about Adam. Adam's just very busy. He's working like three jobs. You know, he's gotta he's gotta do what he's gotta do to survive. But I still talk to him pretty regularly. I hope we can do a stream someday, someday soon. We're talking about that, doing like a Rumble exclusive. Austin, did Xenogears sell well in Japan? It probably sold better in Japan than it did here. Justin, what the fuck? I did not know that. What, talking about Xenogears and Xenosaga? Come on, guys. I saw he deleted some of his videos. Justin only had four views. I know, man. I was trying to help you out. I don't know what the fuck, man. I don't know what, 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 the, what I can tell you. Because I, I always try, like, I post my shit on Twitter and Minds, and it's the same shit. I'll, I'll get, like, interactions from people, I'll get a like here and there, but th they'll never come here. The only people who watch my videos are people already on YouTube. So I would say to maybe get a Twitter and promote it that way, but it, it doesn't even work. Because you'll get people who follow you on Twitter who don't even watch your YouTube videos. So, but I don't know. I, I put it there in the hopes that someday it'll get traction. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. My advice is to, like, do trending topics. Which I did that video talking about Final Fantasy XV the other day. I got 200 views. I don't know how the fuck I got so many views because of my stupid-ass title. <laughs> my existential crisis. I was going to put in parentheses crisis and then in parentheses core. But I thought maybe uh, that's too stupid of a, of a name. So, <laughs> But somehow I got 200 views and a few hate watchers. So... I don't know, Justin. Maybe maybe try doing a video like that sometime soon. Just like a current event topic. Do a kind of ranty thing. Because that gets people all riled up. I did the one about uh, Tears of the Kingdom a few months ago. Got all the Nintendies all triggered. Which, fuck Nintendo. I hate Nintendo. <laughs> Jerry, anything is better than Denny's. Yeah, Denny's is <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Gave me this stuff. Denny's sucks. Serious ass. Yes. I remember playing... Xenosaga 2, and it had way too many long-winded cutscenes. I hear it was the best Xenosaga game. Well, no, Xenosaga 3 is the best of the Xenosaga games. 2 is actually the worst, if you can believe that. Justin, yeah, according to YouTube Studio, my trails to Azure only got one like. Sometimes YouTube removes likes. Oh, I gave you a like, so maybe that's me, but it's like... Fuck. I wish I could help you. But I, I experience the same problems from time to time. Jeremy, I believe he has more videos in his live session. Yeah, YouTube does that filter now where they put videos, live, playlists. They do all this shit. Justin, I liked all my Xenosaga games. Too bad I lost my Xenosaga anime DVD. I would review it. Oh, that adapts to the first game, right? Gaming stuff, it was representative of an issue I have with most JRPGs. Endless chit-chat, just pointless seeming. Games like Persona 4 Golden, most Final Fantasy games pace dialogue well. But others like... Tio's... Oh, Trails of Cold Steel have dialogue scenes that drone on and on. Oh, it's raining again. 
Justin, Eric Landon was complaining that his trails to Azure got low views, so it so it keep the the game is dead. Yeah, I, I heard Eric Landon say that as well. Um, which is a shame because what what happened with with NIS America, right? They're, they're the ones doing the localization. All these games came out years and years ago. Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure came out in the 2010s on the PlayStation or PlayStation Portable and uh, PlayStation Vita, or one or the other. And they never got localized. And even with Trails of Cold Steel, from what I understand, they, like, Trails of Cold Steel 4 didn't get released in North America until, like, 2020 or 2021. And meanwhile, it came out in, like, 2018 or 2019. So they're so far behind. And even in Japan, they released Kuro no Kaseki 1 and 2, which is also Trails in the Dark, and they're, they're a ways away, too. So I think what, what's happening now is NIS America is sort of rushing through the backlog of stuff, which is why they're going to release that Nayuta game, right? What's that one called? Trails to Nayuta, which is another old game from the PSP. And it was released pretty close together. Like, wasn't Trails from Zero that was released in the, in the fall, and then Azure was released in March. Do you guys hear the rain in the background? <laughs> I'm going to save just in case I get a power outage. And if the stream mysteriously ends, you know why. But we got another half hour, so we'll keep going a little bit longer. But yeah, Eric Landon, do you watch his live streams, Justin? Because his live streams are great. He does them twice a week. The goddamn Q&A. And you get, like, the other side to him. Because, you know, he has his scripted videos and all that. And then his live streams, he sort of lets it all out, answers some questions. And I, I like the dude. He's, he's one of the better JRPG YouTubers. Gaming and stuff. Denny's has horrible service as well. Not the best. The bad Xenosaga game. Uh, Jerry, remember when people got views from fake exaggerated story time videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys hear... Can anyone hear the rain in the background? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Gave you stuff. That was my entry to the Xenosaga trilogy because I couldn't find the first one years ago. It turned me off the other two. Uh, Justin, it's cool. I already started playing Trails of Cold Steel too. Well, good for you, man. Jeremy, fuck Nintendo. I hate Nintendo. Five years later, I love Nintendo. I mean, if you're still around five years from now, and if I'm still making videos, ho please hold me to it, Jeremy. But I honestly feel that way. Nintendo just has inferior... Like, here, here's my stance. Most games release, that I play anyway, either release on the Switch and also release on the PS4, I'm going to get on the PS4. The PS4 is just a better console. I don't care about Mario anymore. I don't care about Zelda anymore. I don't give a fuck about Pokemon. I fucking hate Pokemon. Playing the recent Pokemon games just made me hate the franchise more and more. So, I mean, I know you like to bust my balls about it, but seriously, hold hold me to it. And if I do do a 180 or 360 or whatever turn it is, and I, I start saying, oh, Nintendo's great, let me know. But I, I have nothing to do with Nintendo. I don't like Nintendo, and that's just it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, whoops, sorry, multitasking. Jeremy, like, clockwork. Uh, Justin, there was some controversial stuff in Trails to Azure. Maybe that's why the game journals aren't talking about it. Well, it's also a JRPG, and it's a sequel to a game. You got you got to play Trails from Zero to play Azure. Otherwise, you're not going to know what the fuck's going on. So, yeah, <laughs> that too. Gaming and stuff, how are the other Trails of arcs? I've heard they aren't as bolted as Cold Steel. Is that true? I was considering trying the other Trails games. Um, Sky is great. I'm like almost 30 hours into Sky FC, and I love it. I, I, I love the cast of characters. The combat's fun. The music's great. And I'm going to play all the Trails games. And Justin's played Cold Steel 1 and Zero and Azure, so... Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. Justin, no, I don't watch his live streams. I'll check them out later. Not really. 
He does the live streams, I think, twice a week. Or, no, sorry, once every two weeks on Sundays. The goddamn Q&A, but then he, he unlists them. I think there's a playlist. You can find him in the playlist, but he unlists them because of the goddamn algorithm. V Scorpio, I don't hear it. Justin, oh, I hear thunder. <laughs> Gaming stuff. How are the Xenoblade games? They look awesome. They do look awesome. Uh, I haven't played them. McBride, at least you didn't get a freeze advisory for 3 in the damn morning on Sunday. Gaming stuff. They seem to have similar gameplay to FF12, but updated. I love 12's gameplay, and Xenoblade seemed like it improved it. Improved on it. Komaga, Kevin is ranting. LMAO. I am. Gaming stuff, Sky, huh? I may get that one. Yeah, Sky's good. I love it, man. I'll have to do a review of it once I beat it. Uh, but so far, so good. Jeremy, people always throw childish hissy fits over Nintendo online and then retroactively give them praise every few years. I've been around the block. Trust me. Oh, I, I believe you've been around the block, but I, I don't care about Mario or Zelda or any games like that. I, I just don't care about those games anymore, so I'm done. And again, please, if I do a 180, I want you to be the first person to call me at. I want you to. But for now, I'm over it. So we do have more cutscenes. Oh shit, we get to see the Scorpion here. Look at this one. That's not Duma, is it? That's the other Duma. Welcome to Parapium. In this city, you can the Blue Duma that will help you to understand the concept of Scorpion integration. Oh, um, what am I meant to do? Here, all integration candidates and organic life forms uncertain of integration can learn all there is to know of the Scorpion. Do not hesitate to ask questions. Very well then. Um. Uh, what the fuck is a Scorpio? <laughs> I should like to know what exactly is Scorpio. Scorpio are a collective of cybernetic life forms which are not carbon or silicone based. So this they're metal? Of our original anatomies, which differ considerably. Post-integrated forms. So it is a machine that lives. But is that truly They're AI, basically, is what they are. Based on Scorpion's observation of life forms with differing perspectives that have collectively formed societies. The collective unconsciousness is defined by a oh boy. <laughs> who, share the same physical who is that? Carl Young? Is that uh, the collective unconscious? Yes. Do consider ourselves to be He's one of those old philosophers. I think I understand. And yet... Uh, why they require integration? Please tell me, why does Scorpion require integration? As a means of evolution. Evolution? To what end? That is a difficult question to answer succinctly. Evolution occurs naturally and is essential for the preservation of a particular species. For Scorpio, integration is a process that allows us to prosper across the universe. Integration serves to benefit both the individual and the whole, and as a method of preserving our species. For the benefit of the individual, Oh, I got nothing more to ask. I already asked the other two questions, didn't I? Else. Huh? It would seem the information has been updated. All right. Um, oh, I can't move. That red unit has apparently been collecting information. <laughs> I don't know, Justin. <laughs> I still have much to learn about them myself. So this presents an ideal opportunity. Try asking a question. Uh, um. Okay, we can go now. 
All right, V Scorpio, Pokemon need to change. No more gimmick, no more hand holding. Go back to how Gen 5 works, minus eight HM moves. Yeah, like I always said, Pokemon is baby's first RPG, and they do treat it like it's your first game you're going to play. So, I mean, I guess people like it. I don't like Pokemon anymore, okay? I don't, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Because <laughs> I'm just beating a dead horse. I've said it a million times. Justin, I personally hate the art style in the Xenoblade games other than the Nomura designs. Oh, really? Gaming and stuff, Kevin will probably be like Grandpa Simpson when he gets older with his endless ramblings, I mean, and they're in Tron. I, I, <laughs> I already am because I know I repeat myself so much. <laughs> oh. Jeremy, you obviously still do care if you're screaming and yelling about it. Dead. Oh, I got my dead emoji. I'm so hip for real. No cap for real. No, dude. I guess I like to bust people's balls about it. You're getting all mad. But I don't really care about uh, about Pokemon or Zelda or any of that shit. Can you tell me about the Centralist Scorpium? They are an offshoot network newly generated along the Scorpium evolutionary line. At present, there are 17.74 million individuals recognized as belonging to the Centralists. This network shares a programmed cognition that endorses deviating from the traditional means of Scorpium evolution. Our analysis is still underway, but for those who seek to integrate with the aforementioned group, we warn the network has reached a consensus that affiliation with the Centralists is not recommended. We continue to gather information on the matter. I learned about the Centralists, so once I have spoken right. with JJ, I think we should leave. McBride, your fairy tale volume one review was in 2021. Time flies, uh, doesn't it? Also, if you if anyone decides to go to Arby's, don't order the Reuben. They barely put enough meat on that sandwich. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know what. It, I guess I have a lot of fairy tale fans of my channel because whenever I do a fairy tale video, like the one I posted on Friday, they just come out of the woodwork, and it's like, oh, awesome. I love fairy tale. I love talking about it, and I'm glad you guys like watching it. You know. But yeah. Uh, Justin, how does Leticia know about evolution? I don't know. And, I don't know, man. First Pokemon game is pretty hard for a baby game. <laughs> well, I mean, that's back on the, on the Game Boy. Uh, the new games, you know, they definitely hold your hands. I just joke that it's baby's first RPG because there's no story to it. So you just go around, oh, Team Rocket, Giovanni, oh yeah, collect them all. <laughs> Gaming stuff, Jeremy is so edgy. Justin, they should bring back the artist who did the Xeno Saga, Xeno Gears games. That's Soria Saga, Tatsuya Takahashi's wife. That's her pen name. And she also designed the characters Edgar and Sabin from Final Fantasy VI. I think so. Yeah, my head is spinning. Well, my lack of knowledge of many of the basic concepts meant I only grasped half of what I heard. Am I yeah, ain't she tell the truth? That the centralists are a faction that has emerged within the network and brought about infighting amongst the Scorpium. Yeah, it's the Scorpium Civil War. Should never be possible in the first place. Ah, you're really hung up on that, aren't you? If the Scorpium are living beings, then it's totally possible that they'd fight amongst each other. The origins of Scorpium as a life form lay in seeking out and sharing the potential for all manner of evolution. If factions or contradictory ideas were to arise, the conflict itself would be shared to nourish further evolution. That is Scorpium. This evolutionary prospect would then have been pruned as an issue with the fundamental algorithm. Yet this evolution has come to pass, so is it truly impossible, little Duma? It should be. Honestly, I feel the same as Duma. That is why the actions of these centralists are all the more puzzling. I am certain those at the integration plant feel the same. What could Buldor and the others be hoping to achieve in becoming centralist Scorpium? What was that? From outside. 
What's going on now? Uh-oh. Whoa! Im impossible. A centralist attack? What? It's been shared on the network. Centralist Scorpion are forcing their way into Perapium from the dock. Ugh. Ugh. We gotta stop them! It appears Perapium itself is under attack from outside. That's well, maybe they followed us there. Oh shit, there's a giant spaceship. That's the Astoria! It freaking followed us here? It freaking followed us? Oh god! Going in that, direction. that is the way to the integration plant. Could they be planning to destroy it? We gotta stop them. Ray, did you see the Astoria? Yeah, we Just saw now, it. Just now, yeah. Looks like it's headed for the integration plant. We need to regroup. Albert and the others have moved to fight against the invading centralists. To protect the citizens of Parapium. Roger that. We're gonna meet up with Elena and the others first. Let's go. Let's move at. Jeremy, oh no, I'm sitting calm over here. No yelling or cussing. I keep things classy. <laughs> well, why do you always bring it up, man? You you just want me to like start screaming. I did that video to piss off the Nintendies, particularly because the Zelda game is $70. We've already discussed how it's the same exact game as Breath of the Wild. There's so many comparison videos. I mean, if you like it, that's cool. I don't like Zelda. So, if you like it, fine. I don't like it. yet as well. The network is conducting a multitude of complex analyses right now, so traffic is congested. Let us prioritize reconvening with your friends. Gaming stuff, Mad TV did an, an Elias parody that sums up how laughably bad that show was. McBride, I never had a Game Boy Color as a kid. I got GBA in 2001 when I was 9 years old. After buying Game Boy Color in 2015, I don't know how people found that stuff fun. Well, <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> but wow, you got it in 2015? How'd you find that? And Mad TV was legendary. Gaming stuff, I watched five episodes of it, and it was one of the worst shows I've ever seen. Shows like 24 are much better. I was laughing my ass off that Jennifer Garner trying so hard to be a tough woman, and the horribly done high school drama stuff. McBride, watch Mad TV. Before 2005, you'll love it. Otherwise, I'm going to stomp you a new mud hole gaming and stuff. Uh, v... Scorpio, if I made the Pokemon game, there would be one box art, legendary, non-dragon, pseudo, legendary, rock fighting, and flying starters to replace fire, water, grass, evil team who was evil to the core. Justin, Mad TV was awesome. Gaming and stuff, I have it, it was great. Jeremy, I don't start arguments, but I always end them. Oh yeah, Justin, you, you said you had the BRB about the Xenoblade Chronicles designers. Um, you hold on. Unharmed. Got a cutscene. Oh, finally. Got tired of dawdling? Yeah, we're dawdling a lot here, aren't we? We have to treat them faster. It'll be too late. But yeah, the, the character designer for for Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga, uh, her name is Soria Saga, and she's that's her pen name. She she's the wife of Tetsuya Takahashi, the creator of of the Xeno games. And she she did the Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga character designs. Oh fuck! I want to put Elaine in the party. I think she did some designs in in Xeno Blade Chronicles, like uh, designed a character or two in Xeno Blade Chronicles as well. Wait a second! That Scorpion Miss. Marielle, they know what they are doing is wrong, yet they, they have chosen to blindly follow orders all the same. <sighs> they have long since passed the point of reason. If we are to right their misdeeds, we must fight. We gotta fight them! I understand.
Um, v Scorpio, there'll be four gym leaders and a champion. That's not a lot. That'll be a short game then. That was easy. It would seem our defense of this district was successful. Yes, but the fighting at the plant is still raging. Many there have yet to undergo integration and are still wholly organic. We... we have to go help the inhabitants of Parapium. I cannot let the Astoria's crimes go unchecked any longer. Even if it means facing your former comrades and superiors, Maria. Albert, thank you. You have opened my eyes. I am now prepared to fight. Face your fears! Any doubts are gone now. After seeing all this, it's clear that Captain Bennett is in the wrong. Precisely. The Edith needs to be avenged as well. Marielle, is it cool if I introduce Astoria's captain to my fist? <laughs> oh, you tell him, Raven! <laughs> JJ. May I ask you to guide us there? Gladly. It pains me that you have all been drawn into this unfortunate conflict. The plant is vast, so I expect our opponents will be many. Make sure Let's to go. I'm ready. I guess we'll start this dungeon. I mean, we got 10 minutes to go. What do you think? Should we go a little longer tonight? I don't know. We're having a good chat. Austin says, really, what video says the next Zelda game is the same as the last? My video! <laughs> Let me find it! And my source is, is V, of course, from 4chan, which there's a thread every day about it. There's multiple threads every day about it, so. Let's see. What do I type in? Oh, yeah, Carl has the thumbnail. February 15th. Here it is. So you watch this video if you haven't already, Austin. And just read the comments if you don't want, want to watch the video, because they're just coping and seething. Um, I do show a clip. It's basically Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, but Zelda. And if if you think it's different than as far as like what, how the game looks, different from Breath of the Wild, well, that's a you problem. Because if you can't see that, then I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, and I hate open world games, so that's my other asterisk. You know, I don't like open world games. What can I say? I like to walk in my linear path and just focus on the story. That construction there is the integration plant. Oh shit, look at this thing. Is there like a giant mech? Prepare yourself. Whoa. Look at him, he's got like a gun and a sword? Gun sword, shit. It's Vaughn. D Scorpio, there'll be 300 Pokemon, old and new. Jeremy, Star Ocean, the dawdling force. <laughs> I guess McBride's challenging you there, Jeremy. And I guess notice this now. Holy shit. Your name used to be J. Remy. Now you're Jeremy. I used to call you Jeremy because I, I mean, that is your name. But now it's actually Jeremy, not J. Remy. Shit, I guess notice that now. <laughs> Alright, we beat him. Can we go? McBride Ghostface, I want to play a game with you, Jeremy. What's the one from a scary movie? What's up? With Ghostface. Uh, v Scorpio, well, due to be different from the others, the game would get harder. I would have the eggs in different colors. Well, if you want to play like, a good, different Pokemon game, look up Pokemon Clover. That's, that's honestly the best Pokemon game. Are you here for integration? This is the first time that kind of Scorpion has spoken to us. Perhaps it is best we play along for now. Yes, that's right. We came here to integrate. The plant seems to be in a bit of an uproar, though. Did something happen? The Parapium plant is now under centralist control. If you wish to integrate... Look at this guy. We can't trust him. Look at his eyes. Yeah, we pledge allegiance to the Scorpion. 
will be trusted by you even before we attempt to integrate? Do not overthink your decision. Do you pledge allegiance to the Centralists or not? Answer. Impossible. There is only one requirement for organic life forms to integrate with Scorpion. The desire to do so. You're a Duma! You speak our language, but you lack any... Oh, we gotta fight him. Think on your feet. Death to those who defy the centralism. Oh, shit! Look at this guy! <laughs> Death to the infidels! What, is there Toba? We can take him. Get him! You guys want me to stream for like another half hour? Cause I'm, I'm full of energy. I can I can keep going. I'm all riled up right now. I will have shared that we are intruders. Then let us hurry. All right. Detecting multiple life signs inside. We should limit the number of those. That all right. Shut the fuck up, so I can I can read. I'd ask we try not to add any more to their ranks. Well, apparently there's a chest over there. Those people came here with the intent. Oh my god, everyone's changing right, their names so now. I guess we just gotta bust the skulls of whoever's messing with stuff. Just here bust the go. skulls. That should do it. But I expect there to be a number of security authentication points along the way. Jeremy, just because a game has the same style doesn't mean it's literally the same. It dude, it, it is though, it's the same map. You buy it then. I don't care. I'm not buying Zelda. How many times do I keep repeating myself about this? It's the same map as Breath of the Wild. You all know my story on Breath of the Wild. It's open world trash. Open world games suck. And that's it. That's that's all there is to it. So. I, I can't keep repeating myself. I should just redirect you to my my uh, rant video on Zelda that I did multiple years ago. I think you've seen that already. Komanga, we can say Jeremy has been Jeremy since the beginning. V Scorpio, Pokemon, Clo yeah, Pokemon Clover. It's a ROM hack. It's great. <laughs> it's the 4chan ROM hack. Look at these things. We're getting the lag now. McBride, I'm gonna change my name to Draken Slayer Zero, huh? Justin, hey Kev, are you still planning on playing Pokemon Clover one day? Yes, I will stream that one day. Um, as of right now, though, we're gonna do Final Fantasy One next, and then we're gonna do Kingdom Hearts Two, and then uh, we'll take it from there. I don't know what we're gonna do after that, but the next two let's plays are definitely Final Fantasy One and then Kingdom Hearts Two. So, you heard it here first. And I want to play Tro Twilight Princess one day. See, I, I do like the older Zelda games. Wind Waker is probably my favorite Zelda game, if I'm being honest with you. Jeremy, just watch the new trailer. It looks different. I see no difference. But, you know, we all have our opinions. Some are right and some are wrong. Oh, you got a pre-order, Jeremy? See, what I find so interesting about you is you're you not going to buy it. You don't care. You're just here stirring the pot. I mean, like, well, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah, I knew there was something hidden up here. Aha, see? See? I knew it. So yeah, what's everyone gonna do tomorrow on, on their lovely Sunday? Cause I'm gonna be chilling. I'm gonna play Trails in the Sky. And that's it. That's it. Oh, I worked today and fucking hell, man. We have so many people that just call out, don't show up, quit. It just, it's fucking never ends. It was an awful day this morning at work. <laughs> I'm off, I'm off tomorrow and Monday, so that's a beautiful thing. Jerry, if I'm right, you're wrong. Well, I, I just find it weird that you're, like, so defensive about this, this stupid game. And really, Nintendo in general, when you don't even buy these games, you don't even play video games. I, what do you even do? <laughs> you just sit here and, and troll us? 
or troll me in particular. Kill him! Gave me stuff off Monday as well. Nice. Yeah, I'm off. Uh, I work Tuesday to Saturday, so I'm off Sunday and Monday. So that's good. How exquisite. Alright, anything over here? Oh, there's something there. How do we get that? Charge complete. What? Charge complete? Never heard her say that before. Whoa, look at this guy. That's who you get for messing with us. Um, Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Stay at home, read Black Lagoon, volumes one through three. Gave me a I'm seeing my dad for the first time in five years on Monday with my aunt, his sister. Good, man. I hope that's a, a nice, nice visit for you and everything goes well. You're a UPS driver, right? No, I'm, I'm not a driver. I do work at UPS. I work in the warehouse. And honestly, I wouldn't want to be a driver because it's just, it's bullshit. But, uh, you know. It's good enough. So exquisite. <laughs> Dragon Slayer says if I'm the Lost Boys, you're Twilight, Jeremy. <laughs> What's this? The hacking protocol. Gave you something my roommate calls their trucks the diaper trucks because they're brown. <laughs> yep. And thanks, I do too. The warehouse, cool. Part time or full time? It's technically. What the fuck is this? It's technically part time. But, I mean, my hours vary week to week. So, technically on paper, it's part time, but. Sometimes I, I, full time hours and. During like November to January, it's it's all it's all uh, full time. All right, what the hell is going on here? Here goes nothing. Will this let us get through to places we couldn't before? It appears so. We should return to the lobby on the first floor and see. Exquisite. Jeremy, I guess throw the pot and put hose in their place. They're both bad, so I don't know. What's bad? See, we're on a delay, so sometimes you all say something, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Dragon Slayer, I can't curse on YouTube without having my comments deleted. I know, YouTube gets worse and worse with the censorship day by day. It's insane. Gaming stuff part time, that's cool because of the holiday ordering rush, tons of deliveries. Oh, it never ends. These people, the shit these people order, man.